<laughs> you did enough. <laughs> Throw five, I'll play the king himself, Mufasa. Scared of that Mulan. If that big Mulan comes so down, she's dropped. devastated. And so let's, two Mufasa's let's the roulette, going to bin. So let's, let's see, see what the happens. first one. What's up Illumineers, it's Charlie and Matis back with another gameplay video. This week it's going to be The Lion King versus Mulan. Yes, that's right. We did a, a poll on our Discord, which you should join if you haven't already, and we asked our Discord members, I don't know yes. what you call them, <laughs> our, our honorary Ink One heroes, which deck they wanted to see or which decks they wanted to see, and this was the one they picked. Uh, super quick as well as we show on screen, we want to give a big shout to our YouTube members. You mean everything to us, thank you so much. It really helps uh, growing the channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That's amazing. That's enough talking. Let's I tell you about so. the deck. You want to start with your deck? What yeah. is your deck, Charlie? So my deck is Show Your Pride. It is the Lion King deck. It is Amber Steel. We have lots of Simbas, lots of Mufasas. So my strategy really is going to be very aggro. Just flood the board as much as I can. I have Mufasas, so if he gets banished, then I can bring another character into play. And I have Pride Rock, which is going to help me ramp and try and get some characters out a little bit quicker. How about you, Matthias? So I have the Mulan deck that is the Imperial Might. And as you can see on screen, it is a Ruby Steel type of deck. Finally, we have a deck that has all the cards from the same theme. So I'm very happy about it. But it's a lot of what you would expect. Uh, looking for the baby Mulan to be able to shift into the big legendary Mulan. But in general, it's a combination of using items such as the Medallion Weights to ramp up my characters with strength. And also the Imperial Proclamation to allow me to pay less for the next character I play play every time I challenge an opponent. That's pretty much it. Look at the screen. That's the deck. And let's do this. Okay, so should we roll to see who's going to start? Yes. Okay, so six. <laughs> and... 20. 20. Okay. Can't that. And we will say we are once again not using sleeves. We're yes. still battling with the glare from the camera. Yes. But... Uh, Hopefully it doesn't stress you out too much watching it. While we are drawing our cards, I just want to give a shout as well for La Pierre Babu, which is our sponsor. We're going to play a quick advertisement for you, but they are an amazing LGS, so check it out. A huge shout out to our friends and local game store, La Pierre Babu, who are sponsoring this video. Visit them at lapierrebabu.com for all of your Locana and TCG needs, including singles and accessories. And tell them we send you by using the discount code INKBORN10 at the checkout to get 10% off all your singles. All the details are down below. We're back. Let's do this. I'm drawing my cards. Okay, I'm going to mulligan just one. I'm going to mulligan two. I'm going to win uh, Lisha. Okay. And then for one, I am going to play <laughs> Training Grounds. <laughs> okay. So that is a uh, location one, one, moving cost of one, willpower of five, strength of, of mind. Uh, you pay one cost, your chosen character here gets plus one strain this turn, but I can actually pile up and be paying lots of one cost and increasing the strain in the same turn. Yeah. So that is turn, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm drawing for turn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you good? Your hand is good. Mine is the worst hand I could ever have. Uh, I don't know about good, <laughs> but it's a hand. Um, I'm gonna pay one uh, for a Timon, and then I will, sorry, I will ink Timon, and then I'll pay one for Simba, Future King. He's a 1-2 quest for 1, and when you play this character, you may draw a card, then choose and discard a card. I think I will do that right now. Um, okay, I'll discard the one I picked up, <laughs> and that will be turn. It's already set. I can't get anything here because there's no passive lore. And draw. Cool, so it's still not a good hand. Uh, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, ink Medallion Weights. Then for 2, I will move Mulan, enemy of Intangamo. She is a 1-3 questing for 1. She has the ability Time to Shine. Whenever you play an action, this character gets plus two this turn. Ooh. I haven't played any action. I have no cost to move her, so I will just hang there and let's turn. Okay, so ready, set, draw. Um, well, I'll link the card I just picked up, which is Simba, and then I will play two for a Simba. This is Simba Protective Cub. He's a two, three, quest for one, and he's a bodyguard. I think I'm gonna start him as a bodyguard which will allow me to now safely quest with this other Simba. So my Simbas are taking over the board and uh, that will be turned. So I'll go up to one more. Okay. So ready, set, draw. Okay, I'm going to unfortunately ink Strength of a Raging Fire because I don't need this right now. Then for three, I'm bringing Shifu. So he is a zero five questing for one with the ability Overly Cautious. While this character has no damage, he gets plus two lore so he can quest for three. Oh, wow. Um, 
I'm scared because I think you're gonna go for me here. Um, I'm gonna hang back. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so ready, set, draw. I am. I am going to ink a Pumba for two. I'm going to play Pride Lands, Pride Rock. This is a seven, a two cost location. Has a willpower of seven, a move cost of two, and it gives me one more per turn. Uh, and it has two abilities. Uh, we are all connected. Characters get plus two strength while here. And the ability Lion Home, if you have a Prince or King character here, you pay one less to play characters, which is one of the reasons that I really like this card. So I will use, uh, oh, it's a two move cost. That always gets me. It always <laughs> catches me out, that two move cost. Um, I guess I won't be moving any characters there. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to hang back as well. I would like to put a character over there. So ready. I'm scared of that Mulan. If that big Mulan comes so down, she's job. devastating. I'm far from five, but yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ink uh, Fazo. Okay. Then for four, even though... No, okay. For four, I'll go with Mulan. So doing training. Uh, she's a four three quest for one, but she's rush. I can attack Charlie, but I can attack his location, Ooh. so I'm gonna do four damage to your location. Okay. At least See, I'm glad I didn't quest in now. This turn. Uh, <laughs> then uh, I will quest for two here. Three? Quest for, for three? For three, sorry, because of his ability. I will hold back on Mulan. Okay, so you go up to three. So I go up to three, and that is turn. Okay, so ready, set. So I'm gonna get one more from Pride Lands, and then drawing for turn. Ah, da, 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 da. I have to do maths, I hate doing maths. <laughs> I'm going to use two. I'm going to move Simbra over to Pride Rock. Uh, so now you're st uh, more defense? Yeah, so now I have plus two uh, uh, willpower. So he's now a 1-4. And I can play char I can reduce the cost of a character I play for, uh, by one. So I'm going to play Simba uh, Future King, uh, which I played already, which is going to let me draw a card and then discard a card. I will uh, discard Hakuna Matata. So I'll play another Simba, so I'm going to draw and then discard. Um, we'll discard that, and then I will, uh, I will, uh, ink a Mufasa, unfortunately, and then I will use two to also put this Simba over here, just to give him a little bit more defense, and then I'm gonna have this Simba deal two damage to Chifu, so that he stops gaining three law okay, per turn, smart. and I will then quest with this Simba to, to go to three. So I'm guessing he's a bodyguard now. Oh, uh, he is now a yeah. bodyguard, yeah. Exactly. Is it there? And uh, yes, that will be done. Yeah. You did enough. <laughs> so ready, set, and draw. So I'm going to ink uh, Shifu. Mm -hmm. Then for four, I'm going to play another Mula, so doing trainer. Oh no! Four, three, quest for one, rush. Oh no! So I'll go for the Pride Lands so I can stop his ability okay. from protecting So Pride him. Lands is gone, it's yeah. vanished. Then I will use uh, the other Mulan to finish that. Okay, so you take two, two damage. Two damage to myself. And then I will use the remaining here to move inside the training grounds. Okay. Uh, obviously I cannot use in this turn. I'll hold back, that's okay. me. Okay, so I will draw for turn. Uh, okay, I will... Uh, Ink a Timon. For all five, I'll play the king himself, Mufasa, betrayed leader. Uh -oh. He's a 3-3 three, three quest for two, and he has the ability, the sun will set. When this character is banished, you may reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a character card, you may play that character for free, and they enter play exerted. You know this card. You know this card, I'm you sure. You know this card. So, uh, yes. Uh, um, and then, well, I'm going to use this Simba to take out this Mulan because she only has one willpower remaining, so I might as well do that. Um, I can't do anything about Shifu right now. Am I worried about training grounds? I don't think I'm that worried about training grounds at the moment, so I think I will at least... Well, these Simbas don't really do anything, so I'm gonna quest with both Simbas, <laughs> go up to five law, and that will be the end of my turn. Okay, so ready, set, draw. Turn. And make him to regret not challenging that location. We will see. Might as well do this. So I'm going to use five. Oh no. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. I wish <laughs> to play the other Mulan, Imperial Soldier. She's a four-five quest for one. 
with her ability lead by example. During my turn, whenever this character banishes another character in a challenge, so banishes, your other characters get plus one lore, all of them. Wow. I wish this one was healed, but he's not. So now I use all five, right? So I could not make myself more powerful. Not that you would need to, because neither yeah. of your characters have very strong. I'll quest for two. Okay, so that puts you on two. Two five. And two five. Nice turn. Okay. They can risk move here, but <laughs> hopefully Charlie won't want to attack this one because he's gonna get banished in the process otherwise. Okay. Um But of course if Mufasa gets banished. I meant with the other symbols. Ah, but the other symbols wouldn't be able to do it yeah. anyway. But if Mufasa gets banished. What happens if Mufasa gets banished? Then I get to play a character for free. <laughs> <laughs> From the top of her deck. From the top of If it deck. is a character. If it's a character, yes. Well, I'm gonna use five. I'm gonna play another Mufasa. Oh, <laughs> Let's my start God. there. Let's start there. Um so if she banishes a character. Yeah, if I banish, the, I give the plus one. She is the scary one at the moment. Um so how much lore do you have on board? One, two, three, four. Four lock board, and you're on how many? So, but lock? she doesn't get plus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she'll she's get three more. So it's gonna be yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like we're a bit of a stalemate, but I think I'm also just gonna sit back and relax at least for this turn. Oh no! Is that, is that right? Let's turn. Yeah. Okay, it's already set. And oh god, draw for turn. I will use four. To bring another Mulan, so <laughs> taking out all of those <laughs> uninkables I had in hand. Again, for three quests for one rush, you, you know the deal. That's the fourth time or third time. Uh, I cannot target anything. I can, however, move people inside places. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually, I think, moving the currently rush one oh. inside. So I have two rushes inside the training grounds. Can start powering them up. Yeah, and I'm thinking that I will do the same thing again. I will uh, not go for her. Should I go for her? I'll just quest with those two for two. Yeah. But I think because I have two Mulans, I'm gonna do one more. I might as well. Yeah, so you quest for one. That's where man. I can expect what's coming next, but let's do this. Okay. Um. So I think I'm actually gonna roll the dice with Mufasa. I'll have Mufasa challenge this Mulan. So we trade. So we trade. Uh, when Mufasa is banished. Oh god, what is he get? Is the roll that? Card. Okay, Pumba. so it's a Pumba. Okay. So Pumba's gonna enter play Exerted. So okay. It could be could be better, could be worse. Yes. I'm then gonna have this Mufasa sing uh, part of your world so I can return a character card from my discard to my hand. This is the only non-Lion King card we have in here, but I wanted to be able to bring Mufasa's back to my hand if I needed to. And I'm gonna use five. I'm gonna bring Mufasa back into oh. the game. So now, uh, yeah. And then... How much lore you want? I am at eight. Eight. I feel like I'm. I should just let make you do the work. So I'm gonna quest with both symbols, which is gonna put me onto seven, and then I'll pass to you. Okay. So ready, set. Ooh. It's so hard to move this without the sleeves. <laughs> There's a reason Draw. people recommend sleeves. I'm still scared because that big Mulan could come out at any point, and you're definitely within range. I am doing that. So for five, I'm going to the top of this Mulan, so I'm shifting. She is the elite archer. Oh, She's no. a 2-6, questing for a 2. But his is the, this is the deal here. She has the ability straight shooter. If I play this character as a shift character, she gets plus 3 this turn, so she goes to 5. Oh. But not only that, with triple shots, so she's like... Da, 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 da. Uh, during your turn, whenever this character deals damage to another character in a challenge, do the same amount of damage to up to two other chosen characters. <laughs> So, okay, so I, I need to play this strate strategically. I'm going to attack the baby Simba because it does so just one damage to me. Five damage to him. I get back one, but then the cool part is so I can do five to two more characters. So, who are you picking? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, two Mufasas. Two Mufasas. So, let's, two Mufasas. Let's do the, the bin. So, and let's see, see what the happens. first one first is uh, another Mufasa. 
when you play this character, you remove up to one damage from chosen character. Yeah, you can rumble from me if you want. So there's one, and then the next one. Oh, unfortunately, it's part of your world, so it's a song card, so that's going still to on the top. top of the deck. And you know what's coming next. And it's still my turn, though. Uh, so if I banish another character, everyone gets plus one. Yeah. I'm going to banish this one. Okay. So you take so one damage I and take that one challenge. damage, then they both get plus one, and then I'll quest for four. Okay. Bringing me to 12. Wow, that was devastating. That was interesting. And that is start. <laughs> These Mufasa hits have not been the best. <laughs> so the, the thing about this deck is that, yeah, there aren't that many non-character cards, but I did hit one of them, which is unfortunate. Um, but I'm going to have Pumba Sing, part of your world. I can get a character from my discard. So you can get Mufasa. So let's get Mufasa back. We'll play That's him. really good, though. That we'll you play actually... him right away. Four or five, okay. Um, oh my goodness, you're on 12. Uh, if she banishes him, which she will, then you're gonna quest for three, four, five. No wait. <laughs> three, four, five. Uh... Six, seven. Well, I'm gonna have uh, Tamon put one damage on her, just so that when she goes into, if she goes into Pumba, she's gonna at least be banished in the process. Okay, that's clever. That's a little, a little something, something at the very least, and that's really all I can. So do he's like that because he used the. Uh... I used him to sing. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. Third. Let's turn. It's already set. Oh god. Draw. So I think I can close the game because I have oh no. the right card. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use five to actually shift Mulan again. I have another Elite Archer. Oh. Meaning that I bring it up to two. But the good thing is now by challenging your Pumba okay. and getting banished both of us in the process. So all of your all characters. All of the other ones get so plus one. Three, so, so three, six, six seven. Eight. Eight. Eight, yeah. Three, six, seven, eight. So that's exactly the amount I need. There you go. That's I'll the game. For eight. <laughs> and that is game. That was very quick. There yeah. we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Good game. I was so scared of your, your Mufasa. What would this one have given me? Oh. <laughs> Simba. Simba. Nala. Oh, there we go. There it, that's what is that character. one? What does that one do? Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> but that's it. Uh, I think, again, this is a more powerful deck, right? In balancing wise. I, for... I think it, it's it's a more aggressive deck. I, yeah. I needed to go more the, the aggro strategy. I think maybe I was not questing as much as I, I should have. Mm. But uh, it was super fun. It's it not, was fun. I actually I love the like, Mufasa. <laughs> I love the, the Mulan deck. But I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. fun. It was fun. I don't know how powerful it is. I think the Mulan deck is a little bit more well-rounded and obviously a uh, mechanic like Mufasa is very it's very gambling it's yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. chance and look based so if you hit something good it's it can be really powerful yeah. if I hit there are lots of really high cost Simbas in here which is what I really would have liked so, to so hit. that's but what I was yeah, wondering yeah. what would have been different if you so you would be that super rare Simba that's yeah because I mean. there's the well there's this Simba who has yeah. the challenger there's this Mufasa, like there are so many high cost. Uh, oh yeah, he has a 10 wheel power. Yeah, okay. like if I'd hit any of those, it would have been com like a, a much better thing to, yeah. to pull off the top. Even some of the five cost Simbas yeah, are pretty good, but mean. unfortunately I hit Timon it. <laughs> but anyway, I hit Pumba, I and hit the Timon. <laughs> now I hit song. Oh next. my gosh. So, the whole crew was there. It wasn't, it, wasn't, uh, yeah. it wasn't the best hits, but again, super fun. It's always nice playing these theme decks. Yeah, and please do leave a comment below telling us if there's a specific one you want us to to do it, uh, like to plan and play. And check our Discord, the link is on the description. Join us on Discord, we're always doing voting polls as well, so you can tell us exactly what you want out of yeah, those decks exactly. and the content. I had a lot of fun, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thanks yeah. so much and happy, happy questing. questing. Bye. Bye.